went to drama school, I went to Central, um, and I did like a Divide, Divide Theatre course, but it was an acting course. Um, and I just like, wasn't working enough, couldn't get any agents to look at me. I didn't start writing thinking I was going to make like a job out of it. I just started it because I was kind of like missing like that creative outlet. Um, and I did a, like a free, like almost free course at the Lyric in Hammersmith for like for young people. Yeah, and then I wrote a play when I was there, and that kind of like started the ball rolling. Like a mess, like a big disastrous mess, basically. <laughs> like lots of like <laughs> angst. I think I normally start write like I'll start writing a scene, and then the idea will come out of that rather than like I'm going to write about X, Y, or Z, and then and then starting that. I normally start with like characters and kind of like listening to their voices. Um, and then their story sort of grows out of that. Although I'm told that's not a very good way to write. <laughs> I'm told you need a plan, otherwise you get lost, and I do quite often get lost, so maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I think it is maybe easier if you give yourself a little bit of a map, like, I'm, I'm starting to do that a bit more now, because I think that kind of, like, that sort of, like, beginner's instinct can kind of get you so far and then you have to start learning like how to craft your plays and um, how to produce more than one if you know what I mean. I think I do like with laziness which I think is a bit different like I don't think I don't think I've had writer's block but I think I've been like procrastinating or lazy and that kind of like looks a bit like writer's block but actually it isn't it's just you need to just get on write something a bit bad and just get over the fact it's a bit bad and people are going to look at it and say well, that's a bit bad but like you can try again fear and laziness more than writer's block I think I suppose like kind of write the stuff you'd want to see I, th I think that's like something I have to remind myself sometimes like would I enjoy watching this because if I'm not going to then I can't expect other people to <laughs> sit through it. Be kind to yourself and just getting it out and getting something down which can be really hard and then later on you know if you're in your previews and people are getting bored it's because it's a bit boring <laughs> like <laughs> so cut a bit out like, don't get too um attached to anything. I don't think you have to have experienced something yourself because I suppose that makes it quite like limiting for what you would be allowed to write about. Something that you can like feel like you can relate to in some way even if you haven't experienced it yourself or like I'm always like stealing from people around me, like stealing stories and stealing moments from people's lives, my friends, my family, like so lots of stealing. <laughs> I think there's like this nice image of like a writer sitting on their own and like farting out a play and then being like, oh, you know, there it is. Um, but actually, definitely um, on, on the kind of like TV side of things, but also in theatre, like it, you do get a lot of help. The actors and the director, like they, like I use them so much, like the poor things are like doing improvisations we're going to go home write something that night bring it in um, yeah so it, ch it changes l changes loads I think it's rarely just kind of like one oh, I don't know not for me anyway <laughs> it's not like one genius it's just like lots of people supporting someone to try and make something I suppose it's different for everyone, but for me, I'd much rather be with someone for six weeks and that is maybe even, like, not quite as brilliant as maybe some other person. But if they're really hard work, it's just like... I suppose it's where you put your values, isn't it? Like, life will always be more important, like the day-to-day -day living of, of a thing. For Roundabout, like they, they're together, it's only three actors, they're together for a really long time, they, they go to Wales, they go to Edinburgh, they tour, they're doing three plays, like personality is probably more important than, or as important as as their kind of acting skills, but luckily these guys have got like both in bundles, they're brilliant. <laughs> I wish I could be one of those people. Like, I don't read my reviews. Like now, I just like sit and refresh my computer for a day. And I don't, I'm quite. I'm like. I haven't really. I've had one. I've had that experience once, and it's really 
terrifying you know if you start reading them you start placing a lot of importance on them so then when someone says something good you're like oh I'm really good and someone says something bad you're like oh it's really bad and actually you have to be like a bit zen about it and just be like this is the work I'm doing this is where I'm at on my kind of little journey um but I'm not good like that I'm just like give me praise (laughs) 